Hello, in this video we're going to go over one of the problems from the newly released uh, IMO 2022 shortlisted problems. This is problem N2. So the question is asking us to find all positive integers n greater than 2 such that n factorial divides the product of p plus q where p and q are primes less than or equal to n and p is less than q. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I start with checking some examples. Let's just start with n equals 3. So what I need is the ratio of these two numbers, which is 2 plus 3 over 3 factorial, to be an integer. This is 5 over 6, which is clearly not an integer. The next one, I will have to take the same number, 2 plus 3, and divide it by 4 factorial. So of course, that would also not be an integer. So that would not be an integer either. The next one would be n equals 5. And I would have to take 2 plus 3, the same thing that I had before, but then I'll have to multiply by 2 plus 5 and 3 plus 5, and I'll have to divide that by 5 factorial. So in the numerator, I would get 5 times 7 times 8. As you see, there is no factor of 3 at, on top, so this is not an integer. n equals 6 gives me the same numerator, but the denominator is going to be multiplied by 6, so of course that would not work. So I kind of see a pattern here that if at some point that is a prime, I get a ratio that is not an integer, then the next one would also not be an integer until I get to the next prime. There is a hope for n equals 7 because that adds some more terms on top. So I have 2 plus 3, 2 plus 5, 3 plus 5. These are from before. And now I get 2 plus 7, 3 plus 7 and finally 5 plus 7. So these are the new th terms that I get divided by 7 factorial. So if I simplify this one I would get 5 times 7 times 8 times 9 times 10 times 12 divided by 7 times 6 times 120. So 12 and 10 and this cancel. 7 cancels this one cancels I get 4 here and 3 here. So that would give me 4 times 5 times, so that's 60. Okay, so that is an integer. So n equals 7 gives you an integer. n equals 8, you'll have to take the previous one, 60, and divide by 8, which is obviously not an integer. n equals 9 would also not be an integer, and n equals 10 would also not be an integer. So you have to test n equals 11 and so on. Okay, so I got at least something out of these examples, which is I will have to first figure out what is the answer when n is equal to a prime? Okay, so let's just start with assuming that n is a prime. Okay, so if n is a prime, then I know that n must divide one of those. Let's just say n is at least 7, because I already checked everything up to 7. So let's just start from 7 and after. I, I even checked uh, n equals 7. Let's just start from that. So I know that n must divide the product of p plus q, where p is less than q and less than or equal to n, and p and q are primes. Okay, so that means, because n is prime, that means n must divide one of these factors. So n must divide p plus q. p and q are both less than or equal to n, and of course greater than or equal to 2. So if you look at p plus q, that would be less than 2n. Of course, it's a multiple of n. That would mean p plus q must be n. But n is a prime, which means n is odd. What that means is one of these two numbers must be 2, and the other one must be prime. So q must be n minus 2. Okay, so I get that. So that means n minus 2 must also be a prime. So I can repeat the same thing here. So n minus 2 must divide the product of p plus q, where p less than q less than or equal to n, or prime. So what does that mean? It means n minus 2 must divide r plus s for some primes r and s, r less than s, less than or equal to n, greater than or equal to 2, and r and s are prime. Now, what I know is that n minus 1 is, of course, not a prime, because n minus 1 is even. And, of course, n minus 2 itself is a prime. So, at this point, what I know is that n and n minus 2 
r prime. But I know if I take three consecutive odd numbers, then one of them is a multiple of three. So this tells me that n minus four is a multiple of three. And that's pretty easy because if n is a multiple of three, then n would not be prime. If n is two mod three, then n minus two would not be prime. So that means n minus four must be a multiple of three. So that means n minus four is not a prime or n minus four is three. So n minus four equals three gives you n equals seven, which is an answer. We check that one. Or n minus four is not a prime. Okay, so let's take a look at the case when n minus four is not a prime. If n minus four is not a prime, I know n minus two divides r plus s. So n minus four is not a prime. n minus two, r cannot be n minus two because if n minus two divides that, neither of those two can be n minus two. And s cannot be n minus two either. And they also cannot be n minus four because n minus four is not a prime. So this means r plus s is at most n minus six, the previous prime would be n minus six potentially plus n. But this is twice n minus three. So that means r plus s is less than twice n minus two. So what does that tell us? That tells us r plus s must be exactly n minus two. But that again, we know this is odd. We know these two are prime. So the only way this could happen is for one of these two to be two. So that would tell us R must be two, which means N minus four is a prime. And by the discussion that we had here, N must be seven. So the only prime that satisfies this property that they gave us is N equals seven. Now, let's see what happens if n is not a prime. So let's assume that n is not a prime. So assume n is not a prime. So what I know is if I take the largest prime less than n, so let m be the largest prime less than or equal to n. So this tells us m factorial must divide the product of p plus q. We know that because n factorial divides this and p less than q less than or equal to in fact m because the largest prime less than or equal to n is m so we cannot go beyond n. And we know that this m must be 7 by what, what, by what we just proved. So m equals 7 which means n must be at least 7 and less than 11. So that means all of the possibilities are n equals 7, which we know does work, n equals 8, 9, or 10. And we already know that none of these work. We already checked 8 doesn't work. And if 8 doesn't work, 9 and 10 would not work. So that means the only answer is n equals 7. If you like this video, I have a lot of videos like this on my channel. Make sure to check those out. I will see you in the next video.